What's up, Wayne Brown here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of DeFi's XE2. Excuse me. And what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to be creating the following project. This one right here is going to copy the information from your clipboard. It's going to paste it inside the memo. Then we're going to take the information from this text edit here, and then we're going to replace each and every line here with the information here. Now this comes in very handy if you do a lot of database work like I do. Let's say that inside of your database and you're dealing with Excel and then you're going to import that inside of uh, Access and then work with it from there. And let's say that you need to have an identifier like a one all the way down here or a two for each line of this. And so what you do is that you copy the information from Excel and then you come over here, copy to memo. And then you take the information here, you got Q24. Let's say that this is your identifier. And so what we do is that we replace the information here. Then we go back inside of Excel. And if you notice, we never did have to go inside of here to copy. It automatically copies it to our clipboard so that we can paste it inside of Excel or some other uh, database type program. And so let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's go to File, New, VCL Forms Application. Once the application loads, we go, we're inside of our standard over here. We want to go down and we want to choose panel. Let's go ahead and get the panel open. And we're going to come over here and get rid of its caption because it's not needed. And let's go ahead and change this. Let's align this all left. <coughs> okay. And now let's come over here and let's grab a hold of a T-Memo. We're not going to align its property from here. We're going to align that inside of the forms on create. Let's go over here and add in a T edit and let's go grab a hold of a button and make two buttons. And so with our T edit, we're going to give it the name of replace edit. And then our button, we're going to give it a caption of uh, copy to memo and here we're going to replace to memo let's go ahead and make this a little bit wider and same with this one that way they're both uniformed and put them about right up in there and that all looks good so now let's come over here and we're going to take our memo one and we're going to align colon equals all client Okay, whenever the program runs now, what it's going to do is that it's going to align our memo field, all client. Now, our panel over here is going to remain to the left. It's never going to move. It will always keep its width. It will never move. However, our memo is going to move. It is not static. It is going to move no matter how big our window is. It is going to grow to the size of whatever we need it to be. And so the reason why we did it here is so we can work inside of our form without having to worry about having this in our way. Just in case we need to access our forms properties over here or events, then we can easily do that by clicking on each one of our items, including our form. And so the next thing we want to do is that we want to add in a procedure. And what that procedure is is called remove blank lines and that is a variable m t memo semicolon now what we're going to do is that we're going to come in and we're going to add in a variable i colon integer and then begin and we're going to type in i colon equals zero and then while i is less than m dot lines and thank you very much dot lines dot count okay now let's go down to the next section begin and let's type in if m dot lines dot oops i 
that's gonna be equals then oh, let's go ahead and jump past it and let's type in m dot lines dot delete <laughs> delete and let's type in i and then else and let's go into i colon equals i plus one now that should take care of everything there so let's go ahead and run it by hitting your f9 key and everything ran without a problem so now let's jump back in and let's go uh, you can either get to code or design here or by using your f12 key and so now what we want to do is that we want to go inside of our copy to memo and we want to type in memo one dot paste from clipboard it's going to take whatever information is in our clipboard and it's going to paste it inside of our memo and now let's come over here we need to get rid of the text that is inside of here and that is our rich edit okay so let's come over here to replace and we're going to do remove blank lines memo one now we're going to come down here and we're going to type in variable whoops let's go back up here type in variable and it's going to be an x integer and now let's come here add a semicolon to that end and then let's do four x colon zero two memo one dot lines dot count and it's going to be one do let's get rid of everything over here and then let's go down to memo one dot lines x and then let's do colon equals that's our replace edit dot text and then the next place is memo one dot select all and then memo one dot copy to clipboard and that should do it and so we've got a problem right here expected to end of the file so let's come over here for x colon equals there we go all right so now they got rid of that area always remember colon equals comes after any type of integer integer that you're going to add between the begin and end you don't add an equal here all right but you add your equal down here okay so now let's click on f9 we have no errors everything ran smoothly and so let's come over here to our let's go ahead and delete that select everything here copy and I ain't gonna worry about that let's say q254 and then let's replace memo and that's it so uh, anyway that is how you start off making an application now this right here is very useful for doing database work if you've got a lot of lines that you need to replace this is how you do it and um and so anyway wayne baron dark effects.net y'all have a rocking week bye bye